That's fair. Let me ask you a more nuanced question about this. Is it okay to have a conspiracy to get rid of Trump? This came up this week because my friend Sam Harris was on a podcast. And he said, here's What do you mean a conspiracy to get rid of Trump? I'm going to tell you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, He was talking about Hunter. I'm going to defer to my lawyer here. Uh, Truer than you know. Uh, they, They were talking about Hunter Biden's laptop, which was a story. And now all the mainstream press has finally admitted it was a real story. It was a real laptop with... Now, look, let's not pussyfoot around this. He was selling the influence of his father, Joe Biden. I mean, most political sons do. Let's not pretend that at least wasn't going on. I mean, the guy, some guy from China gave him after a dinner an $80,000 diamond after dinner, as one does. Yeah. (laughs) You know. (laughs) If you're Naomi Campbell, but it doesn't (laughs) usually happen. Okay. So Hunter Biden's laptop was buried by the press. Even the head of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, said that was a mistake. They buried the story because they remembered what happened with James Comey and the letter 11 days before the 2016 election. Comey said, we got to reopen this email investigation with Hillary Clinton. And it probably was the last... I mean, she ran a horrible campaign, didn't go to Wisconsin. We know all that. But this was probably the last thing that sunk her. So Sam Harris says it was appropriate for, it was appropriate for Twitter and the heads of big tech and the heads of journalistic organizations to feel that they were in the presence of something that is a a once-in-a-lifetime moral emergency, meaning Trump. So he's saying it's okay to have a conspiracy to get rid of somebody as bad as Trump. It's a little bit of a thorny question because once you go down this road, this is sort of where we are in this country, the other side is so evil, anything is justified in preventing them from taking office. Is it? No, no. You know what's not justified? Using armed violence to try to kill people in the Capitol. That's not justified. Answer this question. Huh? Is it, was it, answer this question. What is was the it question? Appropri- the question is, was, was the it press? appropriate to bury the Hunter Biden? You're talking about the press doing the, that? He's saying that's what they did, and that is what they did. They buried the Hunter Biden story before the election because they were like, we can't risk having the election thrown to Trump. We'll tell them after the election. Well, and, and we know for a fact that that's what they did? Of course. You no, don't but follow I mean, this. Saying you you gotta... know for a fact that that's what they did? I don't know what they did. I know, because you only watch MSNBC. No, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Well, then you would know about this. I do know about that. Well, you're acting I do, like you I know. Do, I do know about that, and I do watch Fox. But the point is, uh, you, uh, we're going to prove now that, they, that, they, that the, the press uh, play, you know, tried to... They're admitting it. They're, the that's press not is a, admitting it. Yes, that's not even an issue anymore. They're saying, yes, we basically did this because we didn't want this to throw the election. Yes? I don't know that they've all said this. And I, I believe I, I, I believe strongly Well, the New York the Times First definitely Amendment. didn't. My dad was a reporter. I believe in it. And I think you have, to, you have to make sure that you're treating people fairly. But I think Rob's point here is that we are dealing um, with man who used to be the president right now who literally tried to lead an armed insurrection. And that's why we're so focused on this right now. And I have not been, as you've noticed, as bombastic <laughs> as my friend here um, about, what's about, the, in the about what's going to happen. <laughs> ah, yeah. About what's How do you guys handle things when they're a a big news item that's controversial? Like there was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story, the New York Post. Yeah, we have that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically the background here is the FBI, I think basically came to us, uh, some some folks on our team, and was like, hey, just so you know, like you should be on high alert. There was the, we we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of of um, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. So our protocol is different from Twitter's. What Twitter did is they said you can't share this at all. Um, we didn't do that. What, what we do is we have. Um, if something is reported to us as potentially 
um, misinformation, important misinformation. We we also have this third party fact checking program because we don't want to be deciding what's true and false. And for the, I think it was five or seven days when it was basically being um, being determined whether it was false. Um, the distribution on Facebook was decreased, but people were still allowed to share it. So you could still share it. You could still consume it. So when um, you say the distribution is decreased, in, it, it got shared. It, how does that work? It basically the ranking in newsfeed was a little bit less. So fewer people saw it than would have otherwise. So it definitely by what percentage? I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's 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 meaningful. But I mean, but basically, a um, a lot of people were still able to share it. We got a lot of complaints that that was the case. Um, you know, obviously this is a hyper political issue. So depending on what side of the political spectrum, you either think we didn't censor it enough or censored it way too much. But right. but we weren't sort of as black and white about it as as Twitter. We just kind of thought, hey, look, if if the FBI, which you know, I still view as a legitimate institution in this country, it's a like very professional law enforcement. They come to us and tell us that we need to be on guard about something. Then I want to take that seriously. Did they specifically say you need to be on guard about that story? I, I, no, I, I don't remember if it was that specifically, but it was. It basically fit the pattern. 